Kat Dennings has been very busy since Two Broke Girls ended, but not just as an actor. In fact, one of her favorite hobbies involves dirt, lots of it. From backyard hobbies to comic book podcasting, here's what else the comedy star has been up to. Count Kat Dennings among the celebrities to have guest starred in The Simpsons. In late 2017, several months after Two Broke Girls wrapped, Dennings lent her voice to an episode titled Mr. Lisa's Opus. The episode looked into the future of middle child Lisa Simpson as she attends college at Harvard. Dennings voiced her college roommate Valerie, and fans of the show were intrigued by a brief yet memorable moment. In that scene, Lisa and Valerie became fast friends, particularly when they compare SAT scores, and Valerie demonstrates her skills at telekinesis by levitating a digital clock radio. As Valerie grasps Lisa's hands and gazes deeply into her eyes, Lisa says to herself, I have a friend. <laughs> oh, maybe more than a friend. While the nature of their relationship remained ambiguous for the rest of the episode, viewers were left with the lingering impression that there could be a same-sex romance between the characters. Simpsons showrunner Al Jean addressed that in an interview with Digital Spy and said it wouldn't be out of character for Lisa. He told the outlet, In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, that is definitely a possibility for Lisa's life. She is open and, you know, somebody who loves everything. Why not? Kat Dennings clearly enjoyed working in the world of animation with The Simpsons, so much so that her next big project was Dallas and Robo, an animated comedy. Dennings voiced Dallas Moonshiner, an outer space trucker whose best friend is a robot named Robo voiced by John Cena. The series was initially produced for YouTube Red, a subscription service now known as YouTube Premium. As it turned out, though, neither the YouTube Red name nor Dallas and Robo stuck around for long. The series was axed after just eight episodes, and the YouTube subscription service became its modern namesake in 2018. Yet that wasn't the end of the road for Dallas and Robo. In 2020, reruns of those eight episodes were picked up by the Sci-Fi Network, set to air as part of its late-night adult animation block. While promoting the series' revival, Cena said he remained proud of the show, but felt that the timing of its release was what ultimately led to its demise. He told Newsweek, We came out at a time where a lot of services came out and, for lack of a better term, Dallas and Robo just kind of got lost in the shuffle. In 2019, Denning starred in the Hulu comedy Dollface, which was produced by Margot Robbie. Denning starred as the newly single Jules, who decides to rekindle the female friendships she let fade while she was coupled up. Brenda Song and Shay Mitchell played those friends, with Esther Puvitsky joining the cast in the second season. As Dennings told Collider, she found the role and the premise entirely relatable, admitting, Yeah, that's been me. I've been that person. You've done it to your friends, and you have friends who've done it. We've all been a Jules. The second season arrived in February 2022, with the lengthy gap between seasons resulting from the pandemic shutdown of film and TV projects. But while the first season was streamed by enough viewers to warrant a second, that was not the case with season two. It wasn't long after that, TV Line broke the news that Dollface had been cancelled, making Dennings a free agent once again. In between the first and second seasons of Dollface, Kat Dennings starred in another project, the comedy movie Friendsgiving. This time out, Dennings was one member of a large ensemble cast, with the plot involving an intimate Thanksgiving celebration that unexpectedly swells to a huge gathering. As Dennings revealed in an interview with Looper, the concept behind the film came from the actual lives of one of the film's co-stars, Malin Ackerman, and the director, Nicole Payon. Dennings said, This is loosely based on their real experience. They're obviously way more fun than I am. They were kind of regaling me with stories in between takes. I was like, oh my god, this is real? They were like, um, yeah. For Dennings, being surrounded by all that comedy talent made for one of the most enjoyable times she'd ever spent on a movie set. Obviously, working with these people was a dream, but it was also just a fun time. Kat Dennings may be primarily known for her acting work, but she's also a force behind the camera as a producer. In fact, she was a producer on both Dallas and Robo and Dollface. Having that degree of control over her work is something that Dennings had long sought. While speaking to BuzzFeed about her producing responsibilities on Dollface, Dennings said, The executive producer thing was so exciting for me. It felt very long-earned because, you know, this is my 25th year of working. You learn a lot as you go, just like in any job, but I felt really ready for that responsibility. Working with Margot Robbie's production company also proved to be a great fit for Dennings, who'd come off two broke girls looking to make a career shift. She said in her interview with Collider, 
I wanted to do something different. I didn't really want to do a sitcom again next, and I wanted to have a little more creative input on whatever the next project was. While an executive producer credit is often awarded to people who have very little to do with a TV show on a day-to-day -day basis, Dennings insisted that she was very hands-on with Dollface. She explained to Marie Claire, Executive producer is definitely a thing that some people like to just slap their name on and it's part of the deal, but I was very involved. Kat Dennings made her debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2011's Thor, playing Darcy Lewis a grad student who interns with Natalie Portman's character, Dr. Jane Foster. She returned in the 2013 sequel, Thor The Dark World, but sat out the next one, Thor Ragnarok. Marvel fans were in for a treat when Dennings reprised Darcy in the 2021 Disney Plus series WandaVision. Boasting a high-concept plot, the series found Avengers hero Wanda Maximoff starring in a TV sitcom. Dennings appeared in five episodes of the series. In the show, Darcy is a world-renowned astrophysicist who's recruited by the government to deal with the fallout from the fantasy world that Wanda has created with her telekinetic powers. Dennings told Looper, I'm so lucky that they actually brought Darcy back for WandaVision. I mean, for me, I just couldn't believe they were giving me this gift because being in any of Marvel's work is a huge honor. I was surprised by what they do with Darcy. After WandaVision had completed its run on Disney+, Plus, Dennings expressed her gratitude for being a part of it, telling BuzzFeed, I'm so proud of the show. I can't believe I got to be in it. Kat Dennings returned to the Marvel fold for the fourth film in the series, Thor Love and Thunder. At first, Dennings claimed to have no idea whether or not she'd be in the movie, telling IGN, Well, I have not gotten a call, so I kind of doubt it since they're shooting it right now, so probably not. However, she did add a caveat, saying, But anything Marvel ever asks of me, the answer's always yes. Once you're in the Marvel Universe, you never know what could happen, really. Dennings apparently received a call after all, and when the movie came out, she was indeed in it, albeit in one brief scene that proved to be more of a cameo than a full-fledged return. That scene, appearing near the beginning of the film, featured Darcy visiting Natalie Portman's character in a hospital room where she was being treated for cancer. Dennings finally acknowledged that she was in the film after it had already come out. In an Instagram selfie in which she's wearing the character's glasses, Dennings wrote, Since Love and Thunder has been out for a while, I feel like it's finally time to post the Darcy selfie. Toward the tail end of Two Broke Girls, Kat Dennings revealed that she'd taken up knitting. She had even formed a knitting club, whose membership included former MMA champ Ronda Rousey. Since then, she's taken up another hobby typically associated with retirees, gardening. In fact, Denning's Instagram feed is practically bursting with garden-themed videos and photos. They range from a post detailing her excitement over the arrival of seeds she'd ordered to another showcasing tomatoes she grew. In yet another gardening-themed post, Denning shows off the tomato jam she yielded, joking in the caption, Yes, it's true, I have successfully morphed into the wise and old grandfather I have always dreamed of. As Dennings explained in an interview with Glamour, her interest in gardening was sparked during the pandemic when she'd finally had the time to create the backyard garden she'd long envisioned. She told the outlet, I built the garden boxes myself and planted them last spring. I know it sounds like not a big deal, but for me it was. She also expounded on her love of gardening during a virtual 2022 appearance on The Drew Barrymore Show. She was joined by TikTok personality Garden Marcus, who shared various gardening tips, tricks, and knowledge with her. Denning said of all that garden talk, This really gets me going, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> In 2020, Dennings dove into an entirely new medium for The Sandman, an audible podcast series based on the DC Comics character created by Neil Gaiman. In the podcast, Dennings played death. As Dennings revealed in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, it all started when she and Gaiman chatted via social media. She said, We became Twitter friends through the miracle of the internet. He'd always said, I hope we can work together, and I would be like, uh, me too. So one day, he just texted and asked, Would you like to be the voice of death? We're making Sandman as an Audible original. As listeners know, Denning's fun-loving take on the character is a major departure from the way the Grim Reaper is typically characterized. Dennings added, The cool thing about death is her job really goes against her adorable bubbly personality. Her storylines are obviously very serious and pretty dark, but her personality and attitude keeps it somewhat cheerful. In 2021, Kat Dennings forged a partnership with Spindrift, a sparkling water brand that's sweetened with real fruit juice, not sugar. Dennings made the announcement via Instagram, revealing that unlike most celebrity sponsorship deals, in which companies typically approach celebs, the opposite happened in this case. She said, 
Never in my life have I approached a brand asking to partner with them out of sheer adoration. That led to the Cat Pack, a Dennings branded collection consisting of her favorite varieties of spindrift. According to Dennings, she discovered the brand as an extension of her love of gardening, searching far and wide for a sparkling water that didn't have artificial flavors added. She went on to add in her Instagram post, I may be part spindrift at this point, as it is actually the only water I drink. In an Instagram post released the following year, Dennings revealed that she'd branched out into promoting the company's new booze brand, Spindrift Spiked. According to Spindrift's senior director of consumer marketing, Melissa Shum, Teaming up with influencers such as Dennings has been a hugely effective way to promote the company's products. Shum told Digiday, They are all super fans of the brand and considered the biggest advocates from our community, who are always the first to try and receive the new flavor ahead of the launch announcement. 